Hey guys, what's up? Productions by the house here, and this is going to be uh, another tutorial, but this time on Motion 5, and we're going to be doing motion tracking. Now, if you've seen my Final Cut Pro tracking video, it's the same thing as that, except in Motion 5, it actually does it for you. And along with that, we're going to be reviewing some 3D text and how to get jiggy with that stuff. So let's just go ahead and get started with this example I made us here. Let's go ahead and watch this. So as you can see, this text stays in the same spot. So that's what that's what we're going to be doing today. As you can tell, I did some 3D right here, but uh, not quite that much. So let's just go ahead and get into Motion 5 here. Just go ahead and import your footage. I'm going to be using different footage this time. I'm going to be using this footage right here. Let's go ahead and just drag that in. It should make a new group for you automatically. Now, as soon as you drag that in, don't even do anything. Don't do anything at all. Right after you do that, just press the text tool here, little T, go up on here, and just type in whatever you want. There. Okay. Anyway, alright. So once you've got your text done here, what you can do uh, is you can click on it and you can go to inspector and you can go to format it should um, default be on format you can resize it you know you can tilt it you know you can get jiggy with all that stuff and um, size and then style you can do an outline if you want uh, blur blur looks really good with Drop shadow is really useful if you want to make kind of a, along with your 3D, if you want to make it look like the sun is shining at it. But anyway, let's just go ahead and get on with the motion tracking here. So once you've got that done, drag it in the spot you would desire, which for me would be right here. Now once you've done that, come, make sure your text here is uh, selected. Make sure double check. Now, click this little icon here, go to motion tracking, and then match move. Now, once you've done that, this little anchor or red thing here should come up. Now, drag it anywhere on your footage to the highest contrast point, which here is kind of hard, but I'm just going to go ahead and drag this little thing on his nose here. There we go. Now, you can preview it right over here. Once you've got that done, just click analyze, boom. Let's just wait for this to analyze. I'll be back with you guys as soon as this is done analyzing. Alright guys, so it just finished. Hopefully um, it didn't take that long for you guys to finish yours. So let's just go ahead and review it. Make sure it's exactly what we want. And voila. There you go. Stays in the same spot. It's really nice, right? Now let's go ahead and get on to... 3D text. Now I'm pretty sure that's what you guys have been waiting for. What you want to do here, go to your text, and then th this little icon here, the replicator. You click that, and you're like, whoa, 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 you just messed up my text. It was so beautiful with the motion tracking and stuff. Don't worry, this is an easy fix. Now just come over here to replicator, and then columns. Make sure you drag that all the way down to, oops, one. Yeah, there we go. Same thing as rows. Just drag that all the way down to one. Now it looks the same. You're like, oh, thank you for making it beautiful again. You're welcome. Now go ahead and click this 3D but uh thing here. Now that's gonna be really important. Otherwise, yeah, it's not gonna be 3D text. Color original. Opacity uh grandant. Uh, you can come over here. Make sure you're gonna want grayscale. Or whichever one you want, but grayscale is the best 3D that I have seen here. Make sure you have that still clicked, and then you want to go up to shape here. And you want to go to box. Here we go, box. Now you've got beautiful. You're like, oh, it looks so beautiful and gothic. But here we go. Let's just go ahead and change the scale down from size, the box size, all the way down here to, I'd say about 
Mm, you can just go here. 33 was the best. See? Looks pretty nice, right? Now you're still not done here. Oh my gosh, what did I do? Alright, here you go. Hey guys, sorry I had to pause the video for a second. I just, uh, I couldn't think for a second. Alright, so once you've got that done, then you've got that complete. Now you just want to come over here to this camera. Boom. I'm going to switch to 3D. And props. You've got your 3D text right here. Right? And you can move it around and all that stuff. And good thing is, it keeps the motion track for you, so... Yeah, it's going to look a little bit grainy because it hasn't rendered yet, but... So yeah, I really hope you like this uh, tutorial. And just go to share, and then export movie. Boom. And that's all you got to do. Anyway, I really hope you like this uh, tutorial. Please check out my other videos. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. And... Um, you have a good day.